cold to uh, do much outside today, so just looking at some pictures there that uh, Charlie White sent me. And uh, Charlie White, I'm sure you guys know him. He had a YouTube channel, uh, NL Ghost Wolf. Awesome channel. Super guy. And he sent me uh, uh, a plan for, I need a, saw, a wood horse. You know, we call it saw horse or wood horse. For, uh, to, when I bring back my, my logs, my wood, my firewood in full lengths, it just makes it simpler if you lay it down in what's called or traditionally called a wood horse and it holds your logs in place and, and then you just simply make one cut and then move over another 16, 18 inches, make another cut and it just, all your wood is cut at one point in time and your wood is off the ground too so your chainsaw is not striking the ground. So I'm just trying to figure out now exactly. Charlie sent me some really detailed uh, pictures, actually. Such a great job. But anyway, I'm going to uh, just take from his plan and start making uh, my own wood horse. Then I'm going to draw for that Blue Eddy power station, which I know that you guys are extremely interested in because there's been thousands of entries. So stay tuned. I think I got the lengths figured out. I got a 16 inch bar on my chainsaw. I like to cut my wood roughly 16 or 18 inches long. My stove can accommodate a little longer than that, but uh, 16 is a good length. You can always push to the back of the stove or leave it up to the front if you got too many coals in your stove or whatever. So. You know, I'm here just building this this morning and it's quiet and I'm, uh, I guess I'm thinking about Charlie as he sent me those plans. And then I thought about, well, I'm making a wood horse or a saw horse. And then the, I guess the dad in me came up with a dad joke. I should probably just call this the Charlie horse, shouldn't I? I apologize to my kids already and to Charlie. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to give that a try. I'm going to cut the wood probably tomorrow or the next day. Always something to look forward to. Let's go check on our soup and draw for that Blue Eddy power station. No, 
of the moment you've all been waiting for, let's draw for the winner of the Bluetti EB3A power station. As you recall, all you had to do was leave me a comment and say Bluetti AC500, which is featured in my last video. And here we go. Blair Shepard. Now let's see if he mentions the AC500, and yes he does. Congratulations Blair. Send me your contact info and we will arrange shipment. And thanks to all who entered the contest. So the next video is probably going to be an uh, ice fishing video where I'll be staying in my winter tent and all the goodness that surrounds that. So stay tuned for that video and until the next video, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. We'll see you next time, guaranteed. Get here, you guys. Oh, get outside.